hi there welcome back to personal creation video tutorial today me and you are going to look at how to design this in adobe photoshop i'm using the version 2021 you can use any version to follow up with this lesson and if you want to download the 2021 i have a full video on it from head to how to download and install it for free i'll leave the link or in the card above so please check it up and download it and please if you don't understand any concepts i have a full beginners tutorial i will leave that one also in the link so please you can check it up and download all of them and enjoy everywhere you are all right let's dive into it so first of all i'll open a new file control n to open a new file then i'll use the size 8 by 8 by 8 and click on create so when my document is well open or well created for me then i'll bring in my images this one this one move all of them into photoshop so then i'm going to make a selection around this image you can use the pen too. you can use every, you can use anything that you want to use for the selection but i'm going to use select subject here and if you don't know how to make a selection in photoshop i have a video on it i also leave that one in the description or in the card above so please you can check all of them up and enjoy so subject select making the selection for me then i'll click then and then i'll click on the max to max it for me so from here i can move my work or my selected image into the main file so here is it that was very decent selection then with my rectangle to selected i'll draw a nine rectangle so with the updated version of photoshop we have this so with the latest version of photoshop we have this round shape or circle and a dot in it that you can use it to make a round curve with your rectangle or if you don't have that one with the property here or if you don't have the property panel you can go to window check property for it to appear for you so with my property panel open i can use this same thing to do the same thing that this wrong circle is doing for me so if you don't have it don't worry you can do it in any version of the photoshop so i'll make this point 70 70 is too small let me try it my hand okay you see that when you start to drag all of the points start dragging inside no problem it's because we have this it's because we have this link together corner radius on that is why so if i turn it off and start to drag this one back you see that that point only it's affected only that point okay so you see we are there so let me increase this one a bit and the same point for this one all right then you can see that i also have a stroke around my rectangle is because stroke is being selected here so i'll make sure i check the stroke that i want give it a nice fill and increase it to 10 maybe all right then I'll change the main color to all right something like this and move my layer downwards so that I can see my image what is going on actually I'll increase the image a bit 
Alright. And I will increase my rectangle a bit. So from here, from here with my rectangle selected, I'll go to select. Then with my rectangle selected, I'll hold Alt and click on it to make a selection with a rectangle. Then I'll select my image again and make sure that I'm on the layer max. With the layer max selected, I'll take my brush to increase the brush to a bit and increase the hardness to 100% and I'll start painting. You see that when I just start painting, it is painting the actual image which I don't want it that way. So I'll use white, toggle with this white and paint that place back in. So what I will do is that I will invert the selection so control shift I to invert selection. So with this one, when I paint with the black, it will paint only what is outside. And if I try to paint the head, the head will go. So I will do that one and click on control D to D select the selection so you see that we have maxed our image into the background very nice one then I'll select both of them and increase it as I want it so with my rounded rectangular tool selected I will make a nice rectangle like this remove the stroke and give it this color or uh, let me pick a color from here like this all right then I'll make sure that I increase you see that when I try to when I try to increase the rounded portion it is only affecting one because I turn the link together off so when I turn it back when I try to increase the rounded it affected the whole version that's what I also want then with my test tool selected I'll type in the date of the birthday and that is 22nd May and make sure that all of them is centered and give it also this color then I'll use area bold for this one zoom in and see that all of them is all arranged and select all of them then center my test okay then I'll type in happy increase it as I want it I will underline it you just have a simple just click once to underline then with my test to select it again I'll type in birthday increase that one also remove the underline change my font to something okay I'll use great vibes for the happy birthday all right and i'll leave the link to download the font if you don't have it change my color select it and use the color picker to 
you just pick a color that you, you wish you want to have with my rectangle selected I'll make a cute rectangle here like this you move the stroke on it and fill it with the same dark, the same dark blue color Ctrl J to make a duplicate and I'll reduce the duplicate to a size I, I actually want and reduce the opacity to somewhere 50 okay select both of them position it as I want it I will decrease this one to match it. Select your two rectangle and match them together. You see that when I match both of them together, it's all faded to one color. So I don't want it that way. I'll first rasterize it and rasterize this one also. So with both selected and I merge it you see that I don't have a problem again alright let me pick a font for this one also alright I'll use copper black for the happy birthday and then lastly I'll add my test to with the test to select the make a selection area and I'll paste in my test here. Alright, I'll paste my test, the test that you want to write, just paste it in or type it. And I'll also change my font. I don't really like this one. Okay. Yeah, this is the font I was looking for. Happy birthday. Then I'll add the name. Test to select it. Type it. Okay, then change the fill to white. Use area board for this one and increase it a bit. Then I'll increase the tracking to leave spaces in the test. Okay, so you see that we are almost there. Then we can also even leave it here, but we want to take it a little further. All right, so all you can do here is that with the images that I brought, I'll bring this one at the back and you see the magic that will happen so zoom in zoom in to cover almost everything like this and we do make sure you move it all the way backwards to the down and you can actually see what is going to happen so you see that we are almost there select your image again and reduce the opacity to somewhere 20 okay let me go a little bit further 25 and you see that you have done wow very nice then i'll lock that layer so that it won't disturb me much select all of them and move it up a little bit there is too much space at the top okay there with my test to select it I'll type in this and increase it and I'll place it somewhere here change the color to deep blue deep dark blue alright 
so please thank you for watching this video if you enjoy watching it make sure to subscribe and watch the other previous video you have done for you and watch the other previous video you have made for you and see you next time bye bye